A big thanks to our sponsor, U4GM. They're a pro web service for Fallout 76. They have legit Fallout caps, weapons, ammo, magazines, everything you can think of in the game. They can even help you with hard challenges and get everything done easily. This is available on all platforms, so don't forget my code, TR3B, to get 5% off. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're still talking about the camp glitch in Fallout 76 to duplicate Collectrons. Now there's two possible ways of doing this. We'll get to that in a minute. But be warned, you could get banned for doing this and you will get banned if you do it in a public server. Now the two ways of doing this is watching this video. It's quite complicated. Uh, watch it, do it, enjoy. The other way is asking it Mr. Universe who will appear in the comments when you ask a question in the comments below and he'll get back to you with um, any questions answered but you can make it in your camp on PlayStation in the wonderful game of Fallout 76 you can do it quite easily he's got all the blueprints and you can just lay them down the only thing he asked for is a decent weapon or some decent outfits in Fallout 76 that's all he wants so go and uh, do either way if you want to just uh, make sure you understand this isn't my video this isn't me in the video it's not me on 76 i don't do glitches but i do put them on youtube because it makes money and that is the only reason anyway if you like this video give us a thumbs up and do put your questions in the comments it is the same method and the first step that you need is a lag camp now this lag camp i have a master switch on it so i can turn the lag off whenever i want not necessary but i recommend it now if i go over here into the build menu right you got your two stacks of basketball hoops right so you want to stay in one spot and just rotate it right so the first thing right <clears throat> when you get them down and the reason this is why you have the flamer traps to destroy them right you hook them up da -da -da, yeah and it'll destroy them as you're going across it and they say they, they they break while you're so first you do this you place one down and you don't do it like this but keep it in the same spot so when it breaks put one here and over here put one here because they need the four directions right and then then as you see they're all on the same pole basically that's how it looks because you just keep it in one spot and you rotate it that's why you have the flamers and while you're doing it if the flamer traps break just go into third person like this go right on over to them and you can press x to fix them so and then you can go back to first person and bam you're right back at your spot so you don't have to worry about losing your spot and uh you'll know you did it right when uh you get this error message when you try to go put another one down and it says uh right there cannot place item too many objects nearby that is when you know you have a full stack all right and then if you come over here like i said bam right there cannot place item too many objects nearby that's when you know you have a full stack this will take this will cost you roughly around i'd say about a thousand two thousand steel and about six thousand copper now where the copper comes into play in is over here da -da -da. and when you throw go ahead and repair this for the wood bam all these cards pop up and then this is where the lag is going to start kicking in here in a second but you see how the fountain right yeah server not responding that's what you want to see so give it a second for it to let, uh stop lagging so I can show you I'm trying to get to the build menu right now and you know this is what this is your ult this is your angle you want you want this because this is what makes the lag game lag so as you see you have your three stacks of fountains now I'm going to stop this so I can show you how it's done uh, but I wanted you to see that there's three stacks of fountains there that's that's the one thing that you do need to see right and everything around it, it's all decoration. This can be on the ground. I like to, I like to decorate a little bit. You know, I like to make it look a little fancy, right? Now you don't need these specific rugs, but you do need a decent uh, a, a rug. Uh, I prefer to use these ones. They work, in my opinion, the best. Um, because they stay flat. You can stack them really easy. You can get the fountains on there really easy. They, they just work really, really well. And you see over here, I'm trying to disarm this and you know it's gonna take a second but that's what you want to see that's that's the angle where you want to get at da, 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 da. come on now 
Come on, just end the lag. <sighs> just give it a second. We can skip this part, da da da, until you get to the next part. I just gotta work through this. Come on, come on, come on. Give me, yeah, there we go. Give me a little bit of control. Come on. Disarm it. There we go. Thank you, thank you. Now, now that it's disarm, no more lag. We're chilling. But, how it's done, right? <clears throat> So to have this little master switch right here, right? So go over here to flow the koa. Uh, where's the flow the koa? The flow the core, flow the core. So like I said, I the king of club. I the king rugs. You don't need to use king rugs. You can use a Jersey Devil one that uh, I think was given out for free. Or a bunch of other rugs, but you want a rugs like this that are nice and flat. Even these circle ones work too. Like if you have the new Coca-Cola rug, stuff like that. Hell, even the base game as these ones work. It just looks ugly in my opinion. But they do. They do in fact work. Um, uh, and how you do it, right? Uh, I'll, I'm going to show you the basic method and then you can continue from there. I don't want to make this too long. But so you put the first one down, right? And then choose a side for your master switch. Uh, so in this, and then you take this spike trap. And so, oh damn, I don't have the home defense card. All right, one second. Uh, all right, all right, all right. So then, right, you take this, and you you want it to put it on the furthest edge possible so that way you can still click it it, it doesn't really matter for the, the main switch but definitely for when you get to the fountains you want them as mu much of it sticking out as possible so now like as I'm looking at it right now uh, it is on the right side right so and I like to do this in third person it's just how I like to build but you can do it however you wish to do it and turn it to where it's the same way bam and now if you stack it right here right right on top of each other with that with that with that spike in the middle right this gives you the master switch bam it goes away bam you repair for one wood cool beans too easy and I recommend you go out like one or two spaces like especially with this big ass rug so bam bam and then bam and that's where I would start the fountain so this is where you're gonna start the fountain right so then you want to put another one of these down but like I said you want to keep it on the opposite side of the of the master switch to make it easier to reach it like I said you want to put it on there like just barely to make it easily accessible when you have the fountains on and since this is where the switch is, you want to try to put the fountains as much as you can, like, towards this side. Because you don't want to cover the spike trap, because I don't make your life a living hell when you do this, because of all the lag. You want to do it one stack at a time, and you can shut off each individual stack. That's why you saw three. So, say, say you got all your fountains on here, right? And actually, I'll just do this as an example. I'll go ahead and grab a fountain. So... So, and, so this is really high up, so when you would go to, like, break it and whatnot, put it on the ground. You, uh, you got a foundation, foundation, you got your flamers that go back and forth, as you guys see here. And what you would do now, as you go over here to floor decor, da -da 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 -da, come down here, and bam, fountain statue. Other statues I've been told have worked, but this one I know for a fact works. So now you have it on here, right? And then you would keep it at that spot. You let the flame traps break it as you keep doing it. Then if you trigger this, right? Bam, it's gone. And that's one stack. So when they're faced up like this, no lag. Like this, bam, all the fountains spawn in, lag. But they're invisible, you can't see it. So, and then you do this three times right across like you saw I'll give you another example I'll show you again so master switch stays broken the other three once you have them all done stay active so that when you hit that master switch you know ah, there it goes there's the lag immediate lag that way 
it'll play into the second part. So you want those three laying down. You want the master switch to stay broken if you're not going to use it. You know what I mean? And that's, that's how you want to do it. <clears throat> Bam. No more lag. So now that is a first setup. So once you have your lag camp and you're happy with it, you have these flamers here just in case they spawn back. Like sometimes one or like a couple hoops will come back or couple fountains will come back that's why I had these little switches so BAM while all that lags going on I hit that switch BAM fountains go away and then sometimes only one stack of the hoops come back and the other stack comes back so I have two separate switches for these so BAM fountain those hoops are done those hoops are gone BAM it's not needed but I recommend it because while you're lagging your balls off it makes it pretty difficult uh, Anyway, so now that you have your lag cam set up, right? Now, you have your lag cam. So you want at least three cams for this, right? Now you want the camp that you want to duplicate or that you want to make and then a blank one. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you on two blank ones uh, instead of my collectron camp and my other camps because I want to show you how to build them, right? So bam, activate a blank one. Uh, where, did, where is that at? Uh, oh, it's all the way up over here. Anyway, doesn't matter. Fast travel to it. So now I got two blank camps here, right? And say I want to duplicate um, a collectron, ammo, whatever it is that you're not supposed to have basically more than one of, or even with turrets where you're only allowed to have ten of. Basically, it breaks it to where you can have more of a single item. Anything you want, anything that you can imagine. Hell, hey, maybe you want mortars. Maybe you want the artillery. Whatever you want, whatever your heart desires. So now I'm going to show you guys how to set this up. So if you ever bought one of these camps, you understand that there's only one foundation on the ground. That is very important because it makes it easier to duplicate because we're going to duplicate this foundation off of the foundation. And then you take the stairs, you can either put them here here whatever you prefer I like to put it here that's just my forte come over here to the floors da 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 make yourself a little platform now to do the little demonstration I'm just gonna duplicate two I'm not gonna go into depth all you gotta do is repeat what I show you and bam so to make an example right actually I'll make it a little bit bigger go to floors make it too wide here like I said, this is a no bullshit guide. I'm going to show you me building this camp from scratch. I'm going to take one collectron and turn it into two. And then if you keep doing it, two go into four, four into eight, da da da, eight into sixteen, blah 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 blah. You get the gist of it. Now, it would be nice if you have a friend that's in a, a private lobby. Makes your life a little bit easier, but I'll get to that. If not, don't worry about it. Public lobby will do. But you definitely want somebody that you can join off your social list. So resources, resources, right? <clears throat> Bam. The Fable Collectrons. Alright, so go ahead and throw one of them bad boys down. One out of one built. And now, most important part. Because this is how it turns into a blueprint when you take it off the stand. When we go to take it off. Go on down here to wall decor. You're going to want a sticker, a letter, something. You want something small like this, or if you don't have it, you know, whatever. You're going to want something to put on here that's a sticker, right? You still a little A on there. Doesn't matter. Just something, right? Because now there's two things, and if I go like this and put it down here, and I put the camp back down, right? Now, it turns this little Houdini majigger into a blueprint. Makes your life a lot easier. And that's how you're going to start duplicating them. Because it turns it into a blueprint. So go ahead and throw that bad boy back down. Bam. Too easy. Now that you got that one set up. And then you got another camp directly below it. You know. That's what you want to see right there. I know I got more than one. I have just about. I have all three of these blank ones here. So I have three camps sitting right here on top of each other. It's really easy. If you have a hard time doing it. Just shoot some bullets on the ground and then place it back down with the other one. Just activate the other one. Bam, bam, bam. And you know, explosive bullets. Am I right? Now that you have that set up, right? Come on over here to your lag camp. Go ahead and activate that John ski. And now you're going over here. 
Now keep track of this. Don't have them all named Link. The only reason why I can do this is because, bam, I, I've been doing it for a minute, so it's a little bit easier on me. But I would I would rename them. So this first blank one right here, that's where we put our collectron at, right? And that's our actual blank one. I should have renamed it while I had it active. But that's the first one right there. That's the one with the collection that we want to make two of. Right? And that's the blank one. Right? <clears throat> so. Bam. Bada, bada bing. Bada boom. You know what I'm saying? Bada bing. Bada boom. Right? So. Uh, you can actually activate this first and put one down. Uh, make sure you have the sticker on it. Or you can wait till how I do it. I do a little. I like to work at the same time. So what I like to do. Right. Come on over here. Right. So go ahead. Repair that John ski right there. And start spamming that. Repair all structures. Now my buttons are a little bit different. So I'm not going to tell you what button. But you want to repair all structures. As soon as you see server not responding. Go ahead and hover over the camp that you want to duplicate. Now, you will have two of these motherfuckers, a ghost camp, which don't belong to nobody, and the one that you own, which belongs to you, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, what we gonna do, right? Now, once you get to this right here where you see repair, go ahead and start a 30 second timer, right? Start, spam, now spam your activate button, whatever that may be, X on PlayStation, I believe it's A on Xbox, whatever it is on PC. You just sit there, you see this 30 second timer to your right, or whatever, the, on your phone, computer, whatever. 15 seconds has gone by, bam. Now, look at where you're going to go ahead and go to. So you find yourself private that you can join. It don't matter because you ain't actually going to join. As soon as you hit join, bam, leaving the world. Now this is what you want to look for. Give it a second. <sighs> Now it's gonna do all the loading and loading and loading, but it's gonna disconnect ya. <sighs> if you ever at any point have trouble with these steps, just go ahead and rewatch the video. Do it step by step. I'm going pretty slow. I hope I'm explaining everything okay. I don't do this YouTube shit. I'm just doing this. Get them tired of everybody fighting over this dumb shit, bro. Everybody going at each other's throats, and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. This is a goddamn video game. These are fucking pixels, brother. You don't own this shit, so you can either wait till your character spawns in, disconnected, bam, hit OK. Hit OK. Roll back up your private. Now, if you're doing this in a friend's private because you don't have Fallout, you go back to your friend's private. Simple as that. <laughs> You go back to where you became because that's where the ghost camp's at. I started my own private, my ghost camp's there. If I had, if I was in my buddy's private, my ghost camp's in my buddy's private. So, makes it real simple and easy. Wherever you did it, you go back to. Don't do this in a public lobby. You will break the server and you'll get yourself banned because it's going to send packets with your name on it. You're going to hand them a fresh copy of you just crashed the server. They on your ass. But anyway, now, now that we low back in, you know what I mean? So sometimes it likes to send you back to your, so now you got to look at what a camp you have active. So this is the same camp, right? So I had my ghost camp, I had my, hmm, excuse me, I had my lag camp active. Now my blank camp is active, right? Which is the one right here with the collectron, right? But now, as you saw, this did damage there because there's two of them, right? Because now, you know you did it right when A, you see that, and now you see Scamp and My Camp, right? So now there's two camp modules here. So now you go ahead and you activate your second one, and I'm getting fucking attacked here. Get the fuck out of here, motherfucker. Goddamn bees. I hate bees. Alright. Now, now you uh, you activated your other one. Now you go and build, right? So this is your blank one, right? Zero percent. You ain't got nothing on this bitch, right? You just have this because, like I said, that first one, right? That's what we built. The second one is blank. It ain't nothing on this motherfucker, right? All right. So now you come over here. You can hold the build menu button, but it doesn't exactly work. Go up to the module and click build. It makes your life a lot easier. 
So now you go over to your floors. Now you gotta find yourself a foundation. Now this is this part right here is a little bit tricky. So if you look right here, right, it's snapping on there, but you can't. You can't. You can't build it there. It said part of the structure would not be accessible. You know what I mean? Know what I mean? So I'm gonna show you a little science experiment before I show you this part, right? Walls on the foundation, right? Let me find the wood ones. They're the cheapest. I'm a cheap bastard. All right, all right, all right. Where they at? Where they at? Do I not? I know I got wood wall. Oh, there they are. There they are. So, bang, bada bing, bada boom. Doorway. Break it. It floats. Congratulations. You know what I mean? But now, if I do the floor, go over here, and bada bing, bada boom. Choose it. Turn it into a wall. You cannot delete the foundation you can't it's impossible so that's how we're going to steal this and make it a new blueprint by shoving a wall on it that shouldn't be there and it sticks there so you want to line this bitch up straight so my OCD fans out there just like me this is our bread and butter see that bitch straight as fuck once you got it straight as fuck, don't tur touch your right joystick, your aim, whatever. You use your left one to move around. And you line up the corner piece right here. Get it nice and blue, and uh, make sure the height is the same. Roughly the same, right there. Bam, bada bing, bada boom. Now, now you're going to snap to that one that's adjacent, right? So now you're going to go back and forth. Bam, bada bing, bada boom. Now... You're going to put on some backwards walls. I'll show you what I mean. Put Throw on that doorway, right? So that's the right way that should be. That's the wrong way, but that's the right way. You know what I mean? So it should look like this on this foundation that you're glitching onto. Now once you got the two doorways on there, bada bing, bada boom. Delete the foundations. Bada bing, bada boom. Make sure you have that shit on. Because if you don't see the option to change it, right? You got to change it. Click um, whatever your shit is to toggle craftable. I don't know. But give it a second. <clears throat> now, bada bing, bada boom. Now you have two walls, right? Now, remember, this is our second one that's blank. Now, what we're going to do, right? <sighs> ah, shit. I almost fucked up. So, to get the second one, right? This is just to start it out. After this, you don't have to worry about it. So, I'll do it twice to show you how to get the four. So, bam, we see zero out of one. Bada bing, bada boom. But remember, you need it to be a blueprint, otherwise, you won't be able to put it down. So, bada bing, bada boom. Go to wall the core. Throw that sticker on there. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, let me just walk on over here. Walk this way with me. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, you're going to get ready to place down your blank camp. The one that you just. You have two walls and a collectron on that bitch bare bones right now bam you come over here bada bing bada boom now you got the pillar with that on there and now you got your blueprint bada bing bada boom now you got four of them now bada bing bada boom that's where the camp icon is put that down so now we're working on the second blank anyway now you're gonna go back to your OG the one that didn't do you dirty, you know what I mean? Your main hoe. Go ahead, you see those bullet marks? Bam, bada bing, bada boom. Now you got two camps on top of each other. Too easy. Now, <clears throat> this one right here, right? This is what's gonna matter. Bam, that's the original one. Go ahead, delete it. It don't matter no more. You only need the two camps to get to this part, right? So this, this first camp that we worked on, don't matter no more. Main hole, outside hole, in, you know what I mean? So bam, we go back to this one right here that we have active. Remember, number two. So right here we go. We're just going to name this bitch side hole. All right, all right. So this was the OG. Now we on to the side hole. You only need the two of them to get two. Now you got two of them, right? Now I'm going to show you how to make four. Go on over here to your, your fountain camp, your lag camp, whatever you want to call it. <sighs> Sorry, I just got an accent because fuck these motherfuckers, brother. <clears throat> Alright, fast travel. Now, 
Now you're back to your lag camp. Now obviously, now you're going to make a ghost camp of that one. Now I'm going to show you a little cool just little trick a rooney after I do this. And that'll be the end of the video. You go back and figure out what the fuck you fucked up. Simple as that. Go ahead and repair that bitch. Spam that repair all structure. Now get your, make sure you get that 30 second timer ready. Good bam. Server not responding. Bam. Go to side hole. This is one that we just have two on now. Remember, you don't start that timer till you see that right there. Now you might be worried. Damn, am I gonna be spending all these materials? No, no you're not, cause it rolls the server back and you didn't spend a damn fucking thing. If you do it right. Hit that timer, 15 seconds on the button. You know what I mean? Spam that bitch, you know what I mean? Because it's lagging like a motherfucker, so after that 15 seconds, you gotta make sure this bitch at least gets hit a couple of times, you know what I mean? So after 15 seconds, like I said, find out where you're going. Wait till that timer beeps and you click that join right at the last second, you know what I mean? Bam, you hear it? Bam, join. Just like that. Now it's gonna disconnect you again. Now remember, if you are in your own private server by yourself, you don't have a buddy sitting in there for you, you are on a time limit for this. So once you get up to like 1632 of these motherfuckers, makes it a little bit harder. Keep that in mind. So this is how you're going to go from 2 to 4, and this is what you're going to do until you get to your desired amount. Except, like I said, that first part I showed you, that's just how you get to 2. That's how you get to 2. That's how you get set up. After that, you keep doing this, and that's how you're going to keep getting 4, 8, 16, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, those stickers are very important. You got to have those stickers on there, because if you don't have those stickers on there, they don't become blueprints. If they don't become blueprints, it's going to tell your ass that you can't place it down because you have one built. Very, very important step. If you forget them stickers, you're, you're done though. You gotta start off. Now, you don't have to start off. I'm fucking with you. But you gotta make sure those stickers are on there. <sighs> and, yeah. Bada bing, bada boom. Now we in here. Bam. Now you see three. Bada bing, bada boom, now you see four. Ah! But see, that's where I fucked up. I didn't take off that wall. So I only got this edge to work with. That's my fault. Those need to be deleted. Actually, can I destroy them? Ah. Uh, uh, I might have fucked up, boys. But now I showed you how you can fuck up. You gotta make sure these wood walls are gone. And I didn't. So now you go over here to your build, right? Now you're building on this scampy. Destroy, destroy. So I might have saved it, cause I broke, cause I broke the ones on the ghost camp, and I deleted the ones on the main camp. <sighs> so we gonna try, we gonna try. It. But now that I let you at this point right here, where you got the ghost camp and the main camp, right? You're not gonna do that, I lied, you're not. So what you need to do, and you gotta do it quick, cause if you're the only one in your private, it will close after a couple minutes. So you gotta be fast. This is where having a buddy's private open is really good. You don't wanna do shit in a private world, or in a, in a public world, because if somebody just so happens to have a place where your camp is at, it screws you over. I'm sorry if I'm explaining things pretty badly here. I don't do this YouTube thing. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll answer as soon as I can. Also, if you have any questions, look at the comments. I don't want to answer the same damn question over and over. Bam. Now what you do is you throw these motherfuckers down, right? After you join your buddies. So your ghost camp's back at your private and you and your buddies. You throw them bitches down and you throw your camp down. Now you got them as blueprints, remember? So now you quit. You gotta do this fast. Like I said, once you have like 16, 
32 of these makes it pretty damn hard to get back in there. You see, world found. That's what you want to see. Your world didn't close on you. Now, if you need more time to get like 90 of them on there, right? You have your buddy sitting in your private. And then you have another buddy that has a private open. So you need two buddies to make it easier. You have one that has his private world open. And you have one sitting in your private world open. And that's way you can take off 16 of them and don't have to worry about it. Now, like you saw, I deleted that camp. I moved it, you know what I mean? Like, that's why you see two, two here. But you still see this one here because there's two camps sitting on top of each other. So, we're going to see if I fucked up with those walls or not. So, like I said, you want to make sure that bitch is lined up crisp. You got to trick the game into letting you place it down. Uh, come on now. Come on now. Be good to me. Be good to me. I didn't have the corner on there. Now, I can't see shit, but... Bam, bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. I don't need to see it. Call me Stevie Wonder. Bada bing, bada boom. So if you fuck up with the wall, like I said, you gotta have doorways. Doorways turn into walls. Bada bing, bada boom. See what I'm saying, brother? Now you're gonna take that camp. <clears throat> Once you got them walls on. You'll know if you did it right, cause you'll come over here. Uh, come on, give me a spot. Give me a spot. Give me somewhere a little bit flatter. Uh, this ought to do. Got a nice view. Come on over here. Go over to your store. Now you got your platform with the two on there. You know what I'm saying? But a bing, but a boom. This is what you just stole. Floating. Sometimes they can be a little bit finicky, so just keep trying. Alright, so that one is just going to say, fuck us. So, because I fucked up with the walls, you're not going to be able to put it down. Bam. If it wants to be weird like that, that's cool. I'll show you how to... I fucked up. Fucked up. Don't worry about it, because now we still have our platform. And I have two other ones. And I'll show you one more time. One more again on how to do it. <sighs> Gotta make sure you don't have those walls from the last time. So bam. No no walls. No walls on that platform. You're gonna make sure you take them away. Now bada big ah motherfucker. Bada bing bada boom. Still working on side hoe. Like I said, you don't need a second camp at this point. Bada bing bada boom. Go to your lag camp. I'm not gonna edit this video. I'm gonna show you how I fuck up so you don't do the same. I'm also gonna show you how to do it right. So everything was done perfect except for those walls. I forgot to take them off when I did it. And I'll show you what I mean on this time. Like I said, server so not responding. Go to the camp that you want to duplicate. You wait till that repair menu comes up. Bada bing, bada boom. Takes a couple seconds because you're lagging the shit out of the game. Bada bing, bada boom. Start that timer. 15 seconds on the button. I don't know if it's necessary, but I, I've always done 15 seconds on the button because I tried 10 seconds and sometimes it's a hit or miss. But if I do 15 seconds, I know it, I know it works. As soon as that 30 seconds is up, I stop. I don't like hearing a beep, so I hit that reset button on that bitch immediately. Anyway, go ahead, you join them, you lag out, you disconnect. But a bing, but a boom. Thirty-four minutes. That's not bad for timing. There's a lot to this glitch. I had to figure this shit out on my own. 
it's pretty complicated and I hopefully this helps everybody else do it because tired of people on game flip on the cutting people being greedy tired of it so tired of it it's ridiculous it's a goddamn video game we should all be enjoying the spoils so once I started seeing that town foolery I said you know what it's about time everybody knows how to do it now let's nice let's use this nice flat ground here sorry for the fuck ups but like I said I'm not gonna edit them out it's good that you guys see these fuck ups so you don't do the same thing and that way if you do fuck up after seeing this you don't get so frustrated see now having it sticking out like that that's what you want you want it to have it sticking out like that makes it nice and easy for you now <sighs> Bada ping, bada boom. I'll actually, and also another thing with these fucking terminals right here. Do not let them hang over the edge. Do not let them hang over the edge. You will not be able to place the platform, the blueprint back down. It won't be possible, my friend. There's been times where I've gone to 90 of them and I had one of these damn terminals. Little slip over the edge, and I had to restart all over because you can't place it down on the terminals over the edge. Don't do it. Now, now for the third time, third time's a charm. You know what I mean? Go on over here to the lag camp. Alright, alright, you know the drill, you repair that, and you click on repair all structure, sometimes you jump, you keep clicking on that shit, you know what I mean? You hit that server not responding, you hit that side hoe, you know what I mean? Say, <sighs> start your 30 second timer, 15 seconds on the activate. Too easy, too easy. But like I said, now you got da 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 da. -da. Finally. But a bing, but a boom. But a bing, but a boom. That's why you want to have it up a little bit higher. It makes it a little bit easier. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But a bing, but a boom, but a bing, but a boom, <coughs> but a bing, but a boom. There you go, there you go. Now here's the coolest part, right? When I make a copy of that camp right there and throw it over here, that camp will still be up there. And I'll show you what I mean. So we'll go ahead and throw a side hoe down up here. You know what I mean? But a big bada boom. And if you look, that camp is still over there because it's a ghost camp. It doesn't belong to nobody. You go ahead and click that build button. Come over here to store. Now you see you got this platform. But you don't want to delete this yet. You don't delete this till you. That's the last thing that you touch. It, it has to be the last blueprint in here in case you fuck it up. And that way you still have the platform. You don't have to rebuild it. None of that shit. So you go ahead and throw that down there, now it works. Make sure you take the walls off, that's where I fucked up last time. Now you throw your other collectrons on there. Bada bing, bada boom. Now you're at four and you repeat that process. You can go back and rewind and see how I did it, it's very, very simple. Uh, but it can be easily fucked up with little things like that that you'll forget about. And as you see, all four of them had those stickers on there because it turns them into blueprints. It doesn't necessarily have to be on the terminal, but that's the easiest place to throw them down. Bada bing, bada boom. Like I said, my name is Mr. Universe. If you need help, reach out to me. If you need one-on-one -on -one help, or I can come into your world on Discord. But I am resided on PlayStation, so I apologize to Xbox PC. But if you have Discord, reach out to me. I'll help you on Discord. Like I said, the most I'll charge you is 10, 20 bucks for my time. Depends on how long it takes. But that being said, you can just rewind the video. I don't need you to pay me. And like I said, if you don't have the cash, that's completely fine. That's completely fine. 
Throw me a little item in the game. I play the game myself, so throw me a little item. I'll help you out. An item of value, may I add. I like apparel. I love apparel. I like fat. I love apparel. Who doesn't love apparel? You know what I mean? So like I said, reach out to me, make a deal. A big thanks to our sponsor, U4GM. They're a pro web service for Fallout 76. They have legit Fallout caps, weapons, ammo, magazines, everything you can think of in the game. They can even help you with hard challenges and get everything done easily. This is available on all platforms, so don't forget my code, TR3B, to get 5% off.